Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. You know, the timing is what I already did one, but I only got halfway through it, so I had an interruption. So uh, we're going to do it over. So what do we have for around the 29th? You may be interrupted, okay? You may be interrupted. It may be a little bit annoying, um, but you're going to get through it. So let's just see what we got. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Right around the 29th, we know the timing is fluid. Not everybody knows that, but most of us do. I think we'll start right here. Four of Cups reversed, Seven of Wands, and the Six of Swords. The Four of Cups reversed is now interested. I wasn't interested, but now I am. So somebody is now interested in something that they may have passed up in the past. Um, this is in a tough position. Uh, somebody may need to stand their ground. Um, be prepared, get prepared. Um, moving to a better place, taking a new approach, leaving something behind. Somebody is leaving something behind and traveling or going someplace. There could be a fight. There could, there could be a fight, there could be an argument where somebody gets put in a tough position, they may decide to leave. Um, Four of Cups reversed. There was an opportunity that was ignored. And I think that we have somebody here that is extremely discontent. You know, they've been focusing on some sort of situation where there's no emotional growth and there's been another opportunity that they haven't been able to take for some reason. And now I feel like they are being poked. Okay, I feel like they're being poked. They're being egged on. They may be walking on eggshells. I feel like we have an individual that is probably ready to go, okay? They're ready to go, they're ready, they're sick of fighting, they're sick of uh, being in this position. This is a challenging position. Somebody is in a very challenging position. This is, this is a individual who is very strong, um, protective, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. That is a positive change. Being at the right place at the right time. It is good luck. It is destined change of course. We have a destined change of course here. Somebody is going to be put in a position that where they have to decide something. And they may be deciding to give up. Give up fighting. There's some sort of destiny here with that Wheel of Fortune. That's the wheel spinning somebody in a new direction, absolutely. Caught off guard. Somebody's going to be caught off guard. They may be caught off guard by something that, that well, obviously, it really, really, they want it. They, it interests them with that Four of Cups reversed. Ace of Wands. There's a strong desire here. We have we have a very uh, exciting new beginning here, and I feel like there's a strong attraction. I feel like there's a strong attraction to go in another direction, to move in another direction. I think it's very sudden. There could be a sudden uh, change of events. It's very positive, whatever it is. The Ace of Wands is a sudden energy. And there's a strong uh, 
desire, right? There's a strong pull. There's, there could be a new flame, okay, a new, a new spark, um, or a new vision, okay? Somebody gets this vision or they just have this strong desire to go after something. Somebody may also be caught off guard by competition. There is some sort of competition coming in. Something was ignored in the past, but now there's an, a, an interest, there's an interest in it. We may have somebody that is deciding to uh, put up a fight for something, and it doesn't have to be like a fist fight, or they may decide to fight for something that they feel is meant to be. Six of Swords is leaving behind a battle because the five of swords comes before it and I do see that I don't want to fight anymore you know it's just deciding somebody may have been fighting their feelings as well with that four of cups they may have been fighting their feelings but I think there's such a strong desire that it's hard it's really hard I don't want to fight this I don't want to fight this it's it's kind of like it's meant to be I got to go in this direction somebody is going in a new direction okay they're taking a new approach and they're, they're deciding to do so, even if it means that there's going to be challenges. So I do think that there's going to be some challenges here. Somebody may be pushed in a new direction. There is a positive change that is coming. Cups is grieving over a loss, mourning. Somebody is moving on. They are moving on. They are going to a better place. It's, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. We have one chapter, one cycle that is coming to an end. This cycle has involved a lot of challenge there's been a lot of opposition but I feel like that opposition is coming to an end this battle is coming to an end we have a new beginning here this is exciting this is what's coming in the future but this new beginning comes after a loss because this is a loss. And the new beginning is after the loss. You see where it's located? Somebody is moving away. They're moving away from some sort of sad situation with that Four of Cups reverse. Somebody has ignored an opportunity. And they probably have ignored an opportunity because they were fighting for something that isn't meant to be. But I feel like there's a change here. I do. I feel like there's a change. It's a very positive change. This is a new vision. It is a new vision to leave behind. Okay? It is. This is somebody is leaving behind a troublesome situation. That's the Six of Swords. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been hostilities. There's been tension. A lot of tension. This is leaving the tension behind. Eight of Cups, definitely. I mean, Eight of Cups is goodbye. It is goodbye. It's a necessary but painful alteration. There's sadness here. This is like a breakup or something like that. And it's because this person sees an opportunity that they are pulled to. It's so attractive to them. It's like seeing, it's like a light bulb moment almost. It's like, this is what I want. 
this is growth, right? This is exciting. This is this is beautiful. I do believe that somebody is headed towards something that is more attractive to them. Both of these cards headed towards this is headed towards the Ace of Wands. You notice this person headed towards the Ace of Wands. That this could be a new partner. It could be a new sexual partner. Somebody has been grieving. They've been grieving over a loss for a long time. This is now interested. They have missed an opportunity or they didn't take an opportunity because of... I don't know. Why didn't they take the opportunity? Because they weren't healed. They weren't healed or they weren't... They didn't know what they wanted or they didn't, they didn't want confrontation. Something about confrontation. Somebody was put in a tough position. But now I think that they're ready. Ten of Swords. Whew. Ten of Swords is suffering. Yeah, they needed to heal. Somebody is in a dark place. They, they were betrayed or they didn't want to betray another person. Ten of Swords. Extremely painful separation. It is. Somebody has been holding on to something. Because they, I feel like they didn't want to hurt another person. Or they didn't want to hurt themselves. This is a this is a mental or physical collapse. This is this is giving up. Somebody is giving up, holding on. Somebody may have went as low as they can go. And that's the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is two tens. This is this is it. This is it. This is a completion. It's a major completion. Somebody has been wasting time. They've been wasting their time crying over or not moving forward because of another person. I feel as though you, you are going to be put in a tough position. I feel like whoever you are dealing with, I feel like whoever you are dealing with, um, is walking away somebody is walking away they're walking away from something and they're headed towards something more exciting more passionate more fertile that could be you could go either way there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of wasted time. But things are about to change in a very positive way. This is a positive change. Being at the right place at the right time. This is the end of grieving. It really is. Because tens are completions. This is the end of grieving. This is an exciting new opportunity. Just go for it. I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to head into something extremely passionate. This is really, really passionate. They probably don't even know it. There's passion here. It's like traveling towards a passionate opportunity. It's being at that right place at the right time. And being caught off guard. Somebody's going to be caught off guard. Could be by a, like a, a sudden attraction. Okay? Page of Swords. Page of Swords is news. A message is coming. We have somebody here that is very curious. Very, very curious. This person has their eye on something. And they're going to initiate. They're going to initiate something. There's going to, there's going to be some sort of person that is taking initiative. This is direct. 
very direct. So something is going to happen. It's very... Uh, I feel like there's going to be a direct charge. You know, I. it's a very direct... Uh, Well, there's probably going to be a conversation. This per there's there's what's the word for it? This is like there's an attraction, but it's more than just a sexual attraction. There's a um, intellectual attraction. You know, there's it's yeah, intellectual and sexual. Um, somebody is headed towards something that is really going to spark their curiosity okay that's a spark of curiosity but this eight of cups is leaving behind emotional discontent stop wasting your time on somebody that you have been grieving over what is that in this guy's hand telescope I feel like I feel like there's some sort of observation going on or it has been going on and the ace of wands is action being taken so this is there's definitely some action that is going to be taken somebody could be could have been watching you know they've been they've been uh, reluctant They've been reluctant to take a new approach, but I think they are going to take a new approach. And I think they've been reluctant because of pain, because of, you know, maybe they didn't, they didn't want to cause somebody any, somebody some pain. That's what I feel. It's like they've, they've wanted to leave, because this is leaving and this is leaving, but they didn't leave because they didn't want to cause another person pain. They didn't want to hurt that other person. But, there's such a strong desire to do so that now I see facing opposition. I do see facing opposition. You can't, when you, you can't, don't fight what is meant to be. That is fighting what is meant to be. And I do feel like somebody has been fighting what is meant to be. But this is a change of course. It definitely is with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. Absolutely. This is about being honest and upfront. Somebody could also receive news that they don't want to hear. I just got to be honest. The Page of Swords can represent a message that you don't want to hear. Underneath it is the Five of Cups. They could receive news of, you know, a loss. I just got to be honest. There could be some tears that are shed. Typically, when, when a person decides to leave, Somebody gets hurt. So, you know, we have an individual that has been discontent with that Four of Cups, right? They've been discontent. And they have been overanalyzing things and not receiving the attention that they need. And they've been looking for more. But, and they've been hurting. They've been hurting a lot with that Ten of Swords. But I feel like it's over. I do. I feel like it is over. I feel like this cycle is over. You you may be caught off guard by... Uh, a new opportunity that is entering your life that is going to move you in a new direction, this is a passionate opportunity. It absolutely is, and it will grow. It is a very fertile opportunity. This is, this is an opportunity to heal. There's now a, a, an interest. Take it. There's a love interest here, I believe. I do believe that there's a new love interest here with that very first card out, that Four of Cups reversed. You may have to uh, give up you know you may have to give up focusing on the pain of the past 
or you may have to uh, do what is right for you. You may have to be strong. Remember I said this guy is a strong individual. I do believe that uh, there is a message that is coming. This is actually, it may not, it may not, it, well, I think it's going to be a surprise, okay? I think it is going to be a surprise. I feel like it's, it's going to be something that probably puts you in your feelings. I do think it's going to be put you in your feelings because of that five of cups. There could be news, I mean, I hate to say this, and I say it too much, that Five of Cups is grieving. It is mourning a loss. And this is news arriving that you may not want to hear. And this is somebody saying goodbye. And this one is too. So somebody is saying goodbye. But wherever it is that they're headed, they're headed to a better place. That Six of Swords is headed to a better place. So it wasn't the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is headed to the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. It's abundance. Somebody is going somewhere. And wherever it is that they're going, there's a strong... Uh, exciting opportunity for growth there. It's very fertile. It's beautiful. Okay? And, there's, and for some of you, it's a sexual attraction for some of you. It's like headed right towards something that is going to light your fire. Definitely. So we have the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new one. Somebody is going to be at the right place that they are meant to be at. And they may be, have a hard time fighting their desires. Okay? One more card. Challenging position. Somebody's going to be in a very challenging position. Three of Cups. That is a reunion. There could be a reunion. There could be a celebration. This is uh, having fun. Getting together. I do feel like somebody is... There could be a celebration, an upcoming celebration of some sort. There's going to be a get-together. There is definitely going to be a get-together. Um, somebody could be planning a get-together. Socializing, dating, having fun. You know, the Seven of Wands is about competition as well. So I wonder if there's some, uh, some sort of new competition coming in. New competitor. I mean, we may have somebody here that uh, doesn't want to lose. There could be a reunion here. There definitely could be a reunion. There could be somebody here that has left. They have left and they have a strong desire to return. They've been grieving. They've been grieving over a loss and thinking about it a lot. A lot, 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 lot. So yeah, I do believe we have an individual that is going to see something and they are going to fight for it. And it feels like they run into this person or something like that. This is in travel. It's like whether they go to their house or something like that. Or they meet this person at a get-together or, or a gathering or, or, I don't know, what is this? It's some sort of celebration. There is going to be a celebration. Having fun.
Anyhow, I feel like this day is about just going for it. With that Ace of Wands, just go for it. I think that we have somebody here that is going to be put into a position where their curiosity is sparked, right? It may require them to take a new approach. I think that things are going to get better. may have something to do with a home. We definitely have a get-together here. We definitely have a get-together. We have a celebration or a party. There's an upcoming get-together. I don't know what is going on, but things are going to change, and it is a very positive change. This leads to happiness. We may have a soulmate connection here. We may have two soulmates that are getting together. Somebody has been ignored, or they've ignored the connection. There could be a reunion on this day. Whatever it is, it is meant to be. Good luck. 